is it gonna turn? What is it gonna turn? What is it gonna turn? What is it gonna turn? Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to be doing a science experiment. Are you guys excited about it? Science! 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 science. So a lot of uh, parents right now are considering homeschooling their kids or trying to figure out different ways to do education from home. And so we're gonna start doing some videos about how we homeschool. And one of the things we like to do is hands-on science experiments. We use, what? What are you, what are you gonna do? Okay, there it is. <laughs> One of the things we use is uh, Kiwi Crates, and we did a sponsored post for them a while back. We like them so much, we actually we purchased these ourselves. Oh, oh yeah, um, and um, there's a spray bottle in there and this thing. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna open it up and find out what's yeah, inside. Yeah, and, and there's gloves too. But these are great, and there are kits like these that are really great. They're hands-on, they give a lot of information on the science behind it, they help the kids learn the scientific process of like, coming up with a hypothesis and testing their results and all that stuff. So it's really, really cool. There are different boxes for different age groups. We've talked about this company a lot. I will be putting a referral link in the description below because a lot of people have been asking about it. Let's open this up and do some science. Yes! Science! Let's see what's inside our box. Ooh. Oh, there's bowls. There yeah. are bowls. Oh, I took out some. So we've got, oh, what is yeah. this? This is like food coloring. And we've got some olive oil. Olive oil? Oh, good, 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 good. So That's we can eat this Popeye stuff? reference. And a little spray bottle. Spray, spray, spray. spray. And ooh, this looks oh, like, hurt. this is really cool. This is like a thing to form your bath bombs. We've got some protective gloves. We've got some mm -hmm. bowls. We have Epsom salt. We have citric acid. We have baking soda. And we have cornstarch. Okay. And Jessica just brought us some project trays so that we don't get our table all messy. And I get the yellow one. OMG. We'll need some scrap paper and some water and a large bowl. Ready? One, two, three, go get it! So while I've got you alone here, I'll kind of show you the manual, which is pretty cool. It's got a messiness level on here so that parents know, oh, this is uh this one's a messy one, apparently, which is good. That's why Jessica brought out these trays. And then the grown-up involvement level is also on here. So sometimes when I'm I'm working on another project or something, I don't have time to sit down and focus on it. I'll choose something with a low. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. That is a big bowl. I'll choose something with a low level and let them work on that. Usually that's coloring or something along those lines. And when it's like medium or a high, then I get a little bit more involved. Yeah. This has been here. Okay, that's perfect. So the first thing it says is to cover your work surface with paper from home. So since we have these trays, the trays kind of help us out a little bit, but we'll put this down on the table just in case we spill outside the lines a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna put on some kid gloves here, which came with a kit. Put this on your right hand. Very nice, you figure out the fingers. And it didn't come with these adult size gloves, but I happen to have them for when I do guitar work. <laughs> My Put hand. Thumb in there. And your fingers. And then work your fingers in there. Nice, looks good, buddy. You took yours off? Yeah. They wanted black gloves, so now we're all matchy-matchy. A chemical reaction is when two or more things combine to make something new. Bath bombs are made of three main ingredients, citric acid, baking soda, and cornstarch. When a bath bomb touches water, the citric acid and baking soda start to dissolve and break down. In the water, the citric acid molecules and baking soda molecules are free to float around and react with each other. Together they create something new, carbon dioxide gas. That's what bubbles up and creates all the foamy fizz. Do you know what else has carbon dioxide gas in it? Can you think of something that when you open it up it fizzes a little bit? Yes! What? Yes! Sparkling water! Sparkling water, yeah exactly. So we need the baking soda. Baking soda! Are these edible? Uh, no, they are not edible. We are not going to eat these. Pour it in. 
All of it? All of it. Whole thing. Okay. You pour Wait, all the cornstarch in there. It is edible. We're not going to eat it. <laughs> it is not edible. It will not be edible. Don't eat soap. Citric acid. Hey, Dad, I... And then we have Epsom salts. Not for food use. Do not consume, Parker. Pour that in there. Very nice. Okay, now, step two. Put on gloves. I, we went a little bit ahead of schedule there and mix the dry ingredients using your fingers. So only with your glove hand, you can reach in and mix it up. Don't spill any. My hand is all soapy. Yeah. While I mix it, you're gonna pour in the olive oil, okay? Go ahead. Don't pour it on me, pour it in. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, and now give it to Parker. Good, good, okay. Can I do it? Mm, mix it? A lot of hands in this bowl. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna divide the mixture evenly into three bowls. One, One two, two, three. Pour it out into each bowl. Try and make it as even as possible. Even as possible. Get it, because they're bowls. Choose a liquid color and add six drops of it into one of the bowls. I'm gonna let Parker choose first. Parker, what color do you wanna do? Yellow! What color do you wanna do? This one. Red? Yeah. Okay, and I'll do blue. One. Oh, good counting. One, one two, three, four, four, five, five, six, three. And now I mix it with my fingers like this, and I rub, rub the little, specks together. It's kind of like, you remember in the Cat in the Hat when they were making pink snow? Mm -hmm. Cat in the Hat comes back. That's kind of what you're doing here with your spots. You're going to make it one big pink spot. Can I go in next? all of your snow. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, five Six. Okay, now mix it together. Go real slow, real slow. Don't squeeze it too much. Oh boy, okay, that's probably enough actually. Oh boy, it's bubbling. Yeah. It's bubbling. Get, get it mixed up with your glove hand. Oh boy. So we have a pastel yellow, pastel blue. Yeah, and pastel uh, red. Good, okay, excellent. So now you're gonna spray one spray into your bowl. Let's see what happens. Okay, good. Now mix it together with your glove. Spray it into your bowl. Good, good, good. Now mix it with your glove hand. <laughs> so you spray it and then you mix it and you try and clump it together and if it holds really well, see how it's kind of coming apart? It's not ready yet. So I need to mix it really well and then spray it one more time. Sorry, we're doing good. We're doing great, this is excellent science. Daddy. Ooh, that's looking good. It's looking good. Do you think yours is ready? Mm. It's taking a part. It's yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Part B. Part B. Part B. Pick a design disc. Do you want to do the penguin or the seal? Um, this one. Okay. So now we've got a little penguin in there. Cute little penguin. So we're going to put different colors in here and we're going to pack them in as much as we can with our fingers. So what colors do you want to go in here? Well, uh, this one. Okay, so we'll put some of this in here. No, no, this one. You want to put that one in first? No. Okay. So put that in. Pack it down. Can you pack it with your fingers? You just poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke. Good. Which one do you want next? Yeah, which that one. one. Oh, you want some yellow? Can you put some yellow in there? Very nice. And we're going to take this and we're going to put the paper on top and flip it around. And we're going to push down as hard as we can. So can you push down on that? As hard as you can. Oh, good. Parker, you want to turn? Yeah. Whoa, I'm using some gymnastic skills here. Okay, that we don't want to bend it. That's good, that's good. Then we're going to go like this. And we should see. Ah, oh, oh. didn't pack in enough. It got close, it got close. Yeah. But it didn't 
didn't get all the way packed in. So what we'll do is we'll put it back in and we'll pack it even harder, okay? So put that back in, try this one more time. And if it doesn't work, then we'll have to work. then we'll have to do some thinking to figure out why it didn't work. A good push. And we'll give it a good squeeze. <gasps> oh boy, kind of worked. Kind of works. That's our first one. Parker wanted to do the little sea lion seal thing, so that's what we're going to do now. Blue's next. No, no. Oh, oh, you After sure get some that there. One, you want this one? Go ahead and give it a push. Okay, that's probably good. Okay. Now, carefully. There you go, there's a little seal. Oh, it looks beautiful. Okay, now I get to do one. Let me ask you a question, Duncan. What is your favorite color? Uh, oh! Duncan has been learning about colors and he has learned that red and blue and yellow are primary colors and you can mix these three colors to make the other three colors which are called secondary colors like uh, orange and purple and green and Duncan what's your favorite color? Orange! Orange okay so which two colors would we mix together to make orange? Um. I'll give you the first guess and Parker will pick the second one. So you pick one color. Which color do you think we mix? Yellow? Okay. And I think red. Red? Okay, so we're gonna mix yellow and red and see if we get orange. Okay, Duncan, so look what we've made. It's not red and it's not yellow. Oh, Gesundheit. It is sort of a peachy orange. Yay, we did it. Okay, so for mine, I'm going to take some a little bit of blue, put it right up here, a little bit of blue, right up here, scrape off any extra, and then I'm going to let it go back down and fill it up with the orange. Loud day. Yeah. I have another question for you. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I took some blue, and put it in into this bowl and I mixed in some red what color do you think I would get um purple you think it's gonna be purple uh -huh. let's find out I think out. it's gonna be purple let's mix it together and find out what we get what is it gonna turn 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 it almost looks like the same color as my shirt Look at that, making a nice little purple. Set it right here, give it a push. Yay! Yay! I like that, that looks great. Okay, let the bath bombs dry for at least half a day, then drop one into water and watch it bubble. So through the magic of editing, right now, we're gonna skip ahead six hours into the day. Alrighty, we are back. And now it's time for the results of our bath bomb experiment. We've got a tub of warm water here. You guys ready for an experiment? Yes! Okay, you wanna see what the bath bombs look like? Yes! Okay, I'll be right back. Stay right where you are. Here we go. This is what they look like. Ah. Look at them. Wow. Wait. So, um, Wait. Wait. I put them in the sun so that they would, uh, dry out sooner and they turned more into like bath bomb cookies so <laughs> so they totally melted you can see them there totally melted um, whoops but I think um, we can still try the experiment and see if we get a chemical reaction what do you guys think yeah okay. but how do we get them off which one which one should we do this let's do one. the you want to do this big one mm -hmm. okay, let's see let's see if we can cut them oh they're just crumbly very crumbly. Like cookies. Oh, that's a crumbly cookie. Okay, well, here we go. We've got some crumbles. One, two, three. Only a little bit of bubbles. Only a little bit of bubbles. It's starting to bubble. Yeah, we're getting a, a little bit of bubblage. Oh, here we go, here we go. They're starting to bubble. Here, we'll put that in there. See what happens there. So the cornstarch is starting to break away and allow the molecules 
of the baking soda oh, and the citric acid to work together and create bubbles. Mm -hmm. Would have been more exciting, I think, if it was a, a, a more successful bath bomb. But, uh, but still fun. Still a fun experiment. And we're still getting a chemical reaction, which is very important. We got a chemical reaction. There's also a really important lesson for parents out there that your your science experiments or your your lessons don't have to go exactly how you have them planned in your head. They don't have to be exactly perfect in order for you to learn something and to get a good experience together as a family. So it's good stuff. Right? Yeah, we can just shout our bath bomb cookies out of the place and uh, put them in the bathtub. Yeah, shoot them out of the place, put them in the bathtub. And this is one of the things you learn in science. Sometimes your experiments don't turn out how you hypothesize, right? Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you would like to learn more about how we educate our kids, we've been homeschooling for a long time, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Turn on the notifications so that you get notified when we post a new video. Thanks for watching everybody and we will see you next time. <laughs>